Hi everyone, I'm Balkar and today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a tutorial video like the other ones I have done. This is going to be a video explaining a specific concept. Today's concept is going to be how Python uses colors. To use colors, Python uses a color model called RGB. Each one of the letters represent one of the essential colors for the model. R is the red color, G is the green color, and B is the blue color. By combining these three colors, we get all the other colors using this model. Before we explain how, how Python uses this system, I'm going to explain what the RGB model is and how it works. The RGB color model is an additive color model in which red, green, and blue light are added together in various ways to reproduce a broad array of colors. One can also see this color model in real life. To form a color with RGB, three light beams, one red, one green, and one blue, must be superimposed, which means they have to be emitted from a black screen or be reflected from a white screen. Each of the three beams is called a component. By mixing different properties of this, we get the resulting colors. Now we are going to explain exactly how light works and how we can see those colors. Light moves in a wave. That wave can have a specific length. Depending on the wavelength, that creates a specific color. That wave, after it hits something, or after it's reflected from a screen, goes into our eyes. After that, a signal is sent from our eyes to our brain, which then shows us our color. If we put two of those wavelengths together, and we add the wavelength, we can create the resulting color, which is the addition of those two colors. That's how the additive color model works. It's important to know that there is a different type of color model, which is the opposite of RGB. It is a subtractive color model, and it's known as CMYK, where C is cyan, M is magenta, Y is yellow, and K is for contrast, or how much black those colors contain. The CMYK model is not used in Python because this model was created for paints, inks, dyes, and other substances whose color depends on reflecting the light instead of, of emitting the light. For example, printers. The main purpose of the RGB color model is for sensing, representing, and displaying of images in electronic systems such as televisions and computers. However, this, this creates a problem, that the, that the RGB color model is a device-dependent color model. That is, that different devices detect or reproduce a given RGB value differently. For example, if we have a bright blue on one device and then we grab the same RGB values and then we put that same blue on an, on an older device, then the bright blue might look a little bit darker. There are some applications that work to fix this error. These are known as ICC compliant applications. For example, Adobe Photoshop uses either the lab color space or, this, or the CIE 1931 color space as a profile connection space. This means that whenever they're translating a color from one device to another or, or from one screen to the other, the colors the colors stay the same. Now we're going to see how this model works in Python. In Python, whenever you're going to put a color, whether it is for the background of your screen, for the color of your letters, or for the color of an object, you're going to have to put it in the form of a tuple or a list. A tuple or a list is formed by a set of parentheses, and inside of it, we have different values and each value represents something. In an RGB tuple, the first value represents the amount of red, 
the second value represents the amount the amount of green and the third value represents the amount of blue. This value has to go from 0 to 255. I'm not going to explain why because that has to do more with the system's bits and how information is stored, but just know that. Whenever you're going to create a color, the values associated with that color is going to be from 0 up to 255. In this image, we can see some of the colors and its RGB values. This is how you create those, co those colors and now you have an idea of how the colors are represented. In here, I have a program that I created. If I press on the red square at the bottom of the screen, we see the red spectrum created in Python using different colors. It goes from 0, 0, 0, and then as we move down, as we move down the grid, we go all the way up to 255, 0, 0. And anywhere in between, we have a combination of red. I can also add a different color. For example, if I click the green square, it creates yellow, which is the combination of red and green. And it goes once again from 0, 0, 0 all the way up to 255, 0. I can do the same thing with blue, where I add both red and blue on the same quantities. And it creates like a purple color. I can also make them go on the opposite direction. So we can have blue decreasing from 255 to 0 and then red increasing from 0 to 255. And then we have combinations of blue and red in between. Up top, we can see the values that those colors have for each square. So for example, right here, it is the color 71,0,180. It's important to know that if I don't have any color selected, then it creates black. So right now, every single square on my grid is 0,0,0, which is black. And if we have the three colors, we create a spectrum of white. It goes again from 0, 0, 0, so it goes from black, and it keeps on increasing all the way up to 255, 255, 255, where it creates white. And in between, you can find different shades of white or gray. In this program, I don't have all the possible colors that you can create. However, you can find them very easily. All that you have to do is go to Google. Once you're in Google, just search for the color that you want to that you want to draw. So for example, I want to draw something brown. So I just look up brown RGB. And usually you find it very easily. So like right up here, it tells me that the RGB value for brown is 255, 248, 222. Let's say that I don't want brown. I want something like gold. So I put gold RGB. And right here, we can see that the gold RGB is 212, 175, and 55. This way, if there is a specific color that you need, you can just Google it and you can find its RGB values. The other way is just to play around with the numbers and see what color comes up. If you want to download this program and play around with the colors, there is a link in the description. You can go there and download it. If you want me to do a tutorial on how to create this program, leave a comment down below and I'll create a step-by-step -step video on how to create the program. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.